Hello, we're looking at the specimen of a brain and this is the outer surface. You can see that uh, this is the cortex of the brain. This thick structure here is the dura, which is part of the meninges of the brain. And when we turn it around, we can actually appreciate that we're looking at an intact cerebral hemisphere. Here we have the cerebellum. This is the corpus callosum. This is the false cerebri. Let me turn this back around. And the main pathology here is in this large ovoid mass, which is blackish in color. This is a hematoma. And you can see that the hematoma is actually overlying or superficial to the dura mater. If we observe this uh, from the posterior angle, we can see that this hematoma actually kind of forms a biconvex, almost like a lens-shaped mass. Similarly, if we look from the anterior aspect, we can also see this biconvex lens-shaped mass. This is what it would appear like on the CT scan on imaging, and this is a classical gross appearance or configuration of an extradural hematoma. Uh, extradural hematomas form as a result of trauma. There is usually an associated skull fracture with a rupture of the middle meningeal arteries. So this is an arterial bleed and the patients may sometimes have a, a lucid interval after injury, after which they can deteriorate rapidly. Uh, the main danger is raised intracranial pressure because the hematoma can be rather large and cause uh, increased intracranial pressure with the possibility of cerebral herniation. So the management for this is to evacuate the hematoma as soon as possible.